Welcome back. It is Saturday. It is opening round time. Hope you're all doing well. And we're about to get this underway on the free to play account for the Champion Series event part one. We've got Alonso Hamilton still boosted and the use of legendary drivers as well. But they're not good enough for ourselves. So let's take a look at what we're running. We're running Alonso and Hamilton this weekend. Level 7 and Level 4 Epic. And we've also got this as the car. So pretty steady. And we're hoping to put maybe around the 300 point mark in as a result. So that would be very good and very happy for ourselves. What have we got coming up? In this video, we've got Baku. We've got Brazil, 40% rain. We've got Canada and we've got Austria. Remember, Strategy Guide was released yesterday. So go and check that out as we're about to get underway for race number one coming from Baku. Here we go then, first up we're off to Baku and two stop territory for ourselves and we're about to see how many points we can get. Can we put in a good performance? Mid 30s I would be very happy with but we've got a good qualifier. Look at that P14 for Hamilton and only P22 for Alonso. So we're going to go on two, we're going to use the free ones, we're going to use ballast and I'm going to use potentially on Alonso, he gets a decent enough start, I'm going to use a Merle on, and I need race start, but I need to save one as well, apologies if I do sound a bit different, not too well right now, but still trying to bring you some content, every little content helps, so here we go, rival real player as well, so let's see what we can do, P14 and P22, are Hamilton and Alonso, Lights out, away we go. Hamilton with the perfect. We expected Alonso not to get perfect. It's not a perfect start. Look at Alonso straight up the inside into P14. It's Alonso 14, Hamilton 16. And through this section, very good chances to overtake. So we're going to keep pushing. Alonso is up to P12 now, P11. It's a great start from Fernando. And he's moved into P10. He's got the double dose of Ferrari ahead. Not anymore. He's into P9 with Hamilton struggling a little bit in p14 so a great start to this race hamilton now starting to make moves again and he moves up into p13 conserve down the straight every single time we're going to boost at the end of it to get a good exit we can't get a better exit than logan Sargent. he comes past us and let's see if we can push through this section again we'll be bringing hamilton in at the end of this lap and you can see now alonso is up to p8 it's a beautiful start from him. P7, we're making tons of positions early on. you got to know where to boost, and there's Science goes past as well. And we are up to P6, P8. That is a very good start. We just lose out there because of the softs coming past the mediums. As Hamilton will come into the pits. Alonso carries on, and he moves into P5. P5 for Fernando Alonso. Let's push now, close the gap, and where's Hamilton going to come out? P15 needs to get rid of that hard tyre from Hamilton ASAP. Can we get past him now? Yes, we can. Through this section, best overtaking spots. We, we nearly get there. And we do finally get past Magnussen. One more for Gasly would be perfect. Yeah, we go. We're in, and we've got Alonso P3. Some good points on offer right now. As Hamilton hits the straight... With one more lap until he pits again for some more softs. We can serve down the straight. Alonso is going to come back in and out in P10. And it's all about this pushing. Let's see if we can now push back in. We're going to come back for mediums. Let's see if we can get past Daddy Stroll. And we're past. Odd to Ocon now. Already through into P6. So this is looking very nicely. And on the back of the Red Bull. Of Max Verstappen. Not for much longer. Hamilton gets his revenge. He's through. Into P5. And now we're just trying to save that power unit. As we come into the pits. Good, good stint. Alonso gaining power unit all the time. For a last two lap push. He's up to P5. As we speak. Just behind the Aston Martin. Hamilton back out. He comes out P12. Let's push initially. See if we can get past. 
See if we can get Alonso past Stroll. Nice and easy. And what about Harrington? Any moves here for Russell? Not quite. So we're a P4, P11. And that's about to change up again as we hit a pit cycle. And it's up to P3 now. No servicing required, so we will be pitting quicker. As Hamilton is up to P10 already. And he should be helped by the pit stops too. Alonso coming back out. We'll get ahead of our teammate, which is what we want. And now he's on the back of George Russell. Can he get past? Up the inside we go. P7 is our call. And now we've got to just close on the rest of the field. Hamilton right there as well. Can he get a move done on Russell? Not quite, but he's in position A. And now Alonso into the last corner before the straight. Takes one car. And what about Hamilton? Can he get George Russell here? No, he can't. We'll cut back down. Stroll pits. Leaves Alonso into P5. Hamilton into P8. And that is good for us. Can we get George Russell now? Alonso is into P4. Can Hamilton get Russell? Yes, he can. He's into P7. It's P4 and P7 so far. It's a great start. As Norris now under pressure from Alonso. Can we get into P3? Action-packed first race. Yes, we can. We are in to P3. And that is absolutely perfect. Hamilton hasn't got any power unit left to push. He's going to come home in what looks to be P7. And I said I wanted mid-30s. How about that? How about that? 42 points. We will absolutely take that. Or 40 points. I can't count. 8 plus 2 is 0. Of course. 40 points. Even better. What a race. What a first race. And let's see the matchup. 1347. And let's have a look. We've got Lonto 7, Hamilton 7. And the car was more cornering than us. But we managed to navigate it. Absolutely brilliant. Race number two then. We take a trip to the other side of the world for Brazil and Sao Paulo. Chance of rain in this one. So will it be a wet or will it be a dry race? We're about to find out in Brazil. We've got a wet qualifying. I think it's around the 40% marker. So we could have a wet race as well. Wet would probably be suit us a little bit better than the dry on a point scoring. 14 and 21, naturally our standard positionings. And we've got a minute, just a minute until the wet comes in. So I am going to go softs and mediums here. And I'm going to put instinct to get that good start quickly. And I'm trying not to use all the big, big boosts. And I'm going to try and use Merleon again because that worked a treat. We're not going to go hard because, I mean, a minute represents probably about three laps. So, this softs, we hopefully do a 4 5 with the mediums, with the play. Rival starts on a wet tyre. That's an interesting strategy. Interesting strategy. I mean, they're getting a better start than us. How do you work that one out? Hamilton P11. We've got. Alonso coming through into P14, making some early positions very nicely. And so is Lewis Hamilton. Looks like it's going to rain, that's what he says. And it's not even going to be one lap. It's going to be two laps that we're going to get max here. But we might just try and stick it out because the rest of the AI will. And Hamilton now in to P number five. Beautiful start. Beautiful. Can we get past maybe the rival with the old switcheroo? No, we can't. So do we come in or do we go one more? And do we do two more with Alonso just so we can do that? Oh, it's going to be tough. I don't think so. Rival struggling at the back, but he's going to start to get quicker now. He's going to start to get very, very quicker. So we're going to still stick out Hamilton. He's on the softer ties. He's going to be better in these conditions. And then we're going to pit now Fernando Alonso. We're going to take the early cut. All chaos out front. We will come in at the end of this lap. We are going to try and just boost past one of these cars and we get Norris. Rival started on the wets. Wrong choice, I'm afraid. And now we should get some big positions with Alonso. He should be like a knife through butter around here. Especially Hulkenberg in the dry on some wets. 
in we come then this lap and look at that alonso up to p18 up to p17 now he's flying through in this wet weather few now early pit stops because of the rain everyone going to wets no one's going to really be able to get six laps either so now it's kind of cut down zone but people still struggling out there people still on the dry tires and that means some big points to be made this evening p6 hamilton p11 and look at that it's up to p5 now still dry tires out there Hamilton struggling to get through. Alonso's gone. He's into P3. Hamilton. P8. Gets Verstappen P7. And it looks like Leclerc still on the dry tyres. And that puts us into P6. So P3, P6 and P2 now for Alonso. Right strategy call 100%. And we are up to P2 and P5. So another 40 plus points here would be absolutely fantastic. And we've got just three laps after this one that we're about to start to go. Alonso leads now with Hamilton in P4. And is it going to get any better? Is Hamilton on dry still? He is on dry. We need to get past him, and we do. So let's boost Alonso into pit. It is going to start drying out in 40 seconds, but that's not going to be close enough to coming back to dries. Hamilton is going to move back in the order. But expect him to come back through again. Alonso Pitts from P1 in Brazil. Where is he going to come out? He's got a strong chance of staying P3. It says P5 at the moment. Can he get P3? He's out in P4. But don't worry. Alonso's on it. Like Sonic, he's in to P3. Hamilton's still got a pit though. And we're going to come into the pits now. We're going to close that gap up. Should be a quicker pit stop. And Alonso down the straight we go. No one else in, so we're into P2. Rival's probably going to have to pit this lap in terms of the AI. And Hamilton, it is starting to dry. It's not going to dry quick enough, though. We're into P6 for Hamilton. Is anybody else going to have to pit? Sainz will pit. Magnussen will pit. Surely Perez will pit. Alonso won't pit. That's the danger. If we want 47 points, we've got to catch him up. Let's see if they pit. They carry on. They are going to run out of tyres. Simple as that. They're risking it for a big biscuit. It's 50% wet now. It's coming down quickly. Let's see if we can find a way through. Have they run out of tyres yet? They're about to. And Perez now runs out of tyres. That should see us catch up very quickly. Alonso is under pressure, actually. And Perez, you can see at the top of the hill. Can Hamilton and Alonso get him? Race to the line. We can't. Damn. But we can get P4 with Hamilton. We'll take that all day long. And it is 44 points in Brazil. That is a fantastic effort. And the rival who started on the wets is back out still in P21. We definitely chose the right strategy to come home in. And what a result, 44 points, 40 from the first race as well. So yeah, massive 84 points from just the two races so far. Not using absolutely amazing boosts either. So you can see 1359 and you can see 7 Hamilton, 7 Alonso with a car which needs more cornering for the rival. Here we go then, race number three coming in from Canada and Montreal. Difficult, difficult track. So let's see what we can get done. I mean, it'd be, I reckon it'd be pretty impossible to get another 40 points. But I tell you what, we're going to try. We are absolutely going to try. It's in the dry. We could have done with some mixed weather. Hamilton pushed back to P15. So Hamilton is going to go on to... We're probably going to have to use a bit of race start here. I don't want to massively... But we're going to use, we don't need Street Shark, but I want the race start. And Alonso, we're just going to chill with that Merle on again, on the mediums. So, 3-3-2 three, three, for Hamilton. I want the race start, that's why we're using Street Shark. Wouldn't usually use speed boost around here, but when well, you've not got a lot, you've got to go with what you got. So, good start needed against a very tough rival. 
let's see what we can get done. Hamilton does get that perfect start from P15, but tricky place to start overtaking massively. And we do make a couple. We're up to P13 with Alonso sitting there comfortably as well in P15. Hamilton up to P12. And he's looking for a move now on the double Red Bull opponent. And he's going to get one of them by the look of it. And he's up to P11, make it P10. So a brilliant start on them softs. Can we get any more inside line? Yes, please. Yes, please. And we're up to P9. Make it P8 now. So a great, great start here. Alonso trying to then reject the rivals and he's up to P10. Can we get any more? Mercedes and a Red Bull fighting. We're up to P7. We could go hards. I feel like that's going to be too slow. I don't really want a two-stop, but I think that's going to have to be the plan. We're going to look after that power unit again. We're going to try and attack. You can see this rival's pretty slow. It's Max Verstappen. Seems slower, and we're going to take care of that. P6. We've got Alonso in P10 on the one-stop. So that's pretty good. We're not a million miles away from a one-stop on the softs. And we're under pressure from Max. We're going to just hold him off. Alonso lost a position into P11, but he's gaining power unit all the time. I don't really want to go hard. But I think I might have to. Let's try it. Let's try a 3-5, guys. Five guys. And see what we can do. Might be the wrong choice. Might be the great choice. We're going to find out. Hamilton comes in. From lap number three. Rival comes in as well. It's interesting to see what the rival does. Does he go soft? What I wanted to do, he does. We are just behind the rival as well. Science comes back out. And we're going to now pit. Potentially. Let's see what we've got around them. You can see here. P8. We're going to come back for them mediums. Can we get Hamilton through? And Alonso's through into P7. Hamilton's bang there on the hard, and he takes Leclerc. Nearly takes the rival as well. Alonso comes in. He's got good power unit for the rest of this stint, which is good. Hamilton's P11. Rival's still got a pit, though. And look at that Mercedes flying out of the pit lane. Same with Alonso here, P14. So top 10. And Alonso now moving into P12, hopefully. Yes, sir. P12 for Fernando. Well, behind the rival, who's got to pit both cars again. So, did we do the right choice here? I mean, at the minute, I'd say yes, because we're right behind these soft tyres. But we are absolutely pushing as we... Oh, we nearly went for a move on Hamilton of that Red Bull. And here comes Fernando Alonso. In P10, we're going to do the old switcheroo here, let him pass because he's on a mission on that one stop, doing that four medium, four medium. Round the outside of science, beautiful, like poetry. What else have we got? And here comes Hamilton now looking at a move. Can we get past the science? Not yet, still can't get past. We lose a position then. And it's starting to go backwards just a little bit. Hamilton moves up to P7. We're probably going to get done by the Red Bull here. Yep, there you go. You knew it. But we're up to P3. I'd take 35 points if I can get it. But these hard tyres now, really struggling. You can see the rival back out on the softs. That's what we wanted to do, but we chose differently. And you can see we are now going backwards. So maybe we should have gone to that two-stop. Because against this AI... Well, it's very difficult indeed. But it's worth a try. We'll know for tomorrow not to go 3-5 and instead look at doing a 3-2. Three, 3-2. Two, three, three, two. So, can Hamilton get past Sainz? Yes, he can. So, he's up into P9. We've got Alonso at the back of Lando Norris. Can he get the move done? Yes, he can. So, he's up to P2. Hamilton just about holding on. To the softs of the rival. Oh, we're just holding on. Alonso takes P2. Can Hamilton keep on to P9? Last corner. Yes, he can. We will take that. 
we will take that. It's 39 points in Canada. Difficult race. I tell you what, if we'd have done the two-stop, I think we'd have been looking at even more points than that. But 39 points against a tough rival with the 1431. Level 5 Max Verstappen. And that was the car as well. You need more cornering, Hector. Need more cornering. The final race of this video. We are going to Austria for 10 laps of some fast-paced action. And hopefully... Well, we've got some big points so far. Can we keep this up? That would be perfect. We've got a good chance. It's a good chance of points around Austria. And we'll be doing it via the two-stop. So, what we are going to do is put Alonso onto the softs and Hamilton onto the mediums. We're going to go for that free boost again of Instinct. And I'm actually going to do the same for Alonso. We're going to try and look after our boost numbers for future rounds, especially when Hutch aren't giving us the good boosts lately. So, Hamilton 12th, Alonso 19th. Hamilton gets a perfect start with Alonso getting a good start. But already, you can see on the mediums, Lewis Hamilton is up to P5. What has happened to Alonso? He's down in P20 as his teammate. He's in P3. That's a terrible start by Fernando. Hopefully, we can gain some of that time back. And he's starting to now try and come through, but still lavishes down in P18. And that is... And now he's starting to come through. So, we're not going to push him to come through. Because we'll save that for some outlaps on some soft tyres shortly. But we're up to P16. He should have enough pace on the softs to come past. And he is. You can see he's up to P15 now. We're not even pushing. And make that now P14. Hamilton, we're trying to get past Hamilton. And can he do it? Yes, he can. He's into P2. And Alonso still pushing forward into P13. And that is without using any power unit. Going backwards a little bit with Leclerc there. But he's still attacking hard and he's going to get Leclerc. He's got Russell ahead. Let's just try and flick some power. Can we get Russell? No, we can't. So we're going to come in for a quick pit stop and get back out. We're going to push all the way in. But Hamilton's lost a few positions, but that's fine. We're going to come back for the softs for ourselves this lap. So Alonso pits. Oh, he's got Russell ahead of him as well. That's what we didn't need because they'll have a lot quicker pit stops than us. It's three seconds, though. And he's we're actually out ahead. No servicing. Absolutely worked a treat. And we are up now to P17. We're going to now use all our pushing of that power unit to get past some of these slower running compound tyre drivers. You've got Albon ahead and Sonoda. They left such a big gap for a small guy. And we're into P15. Make it P14. P13, we're in. And look at that, Hamilton's out in P7. So we're making our way through the pack. That was very much needed. Hamilton's still going. Back of the Haas of K-Mag. And can he get through? Alonso gets into P12. So this is looking very good. There's a Mercedes just coming out. We're not going to get ahead of them. We don't need to. We don't need to go full full fighting. But Hamilton takes it into his own hands and takes P4. Alonso probably needs to come back for some mediums. But can he get a soft here? Can he get softs? I don't want to risk it. We would have been very close. So we're going to pit anyway. Hamilton's up to P3. And we're going to pit him this time round. Still looking after that power unit. Where's Alonso going to come back out? P13, rival on the hard tyres. And we're not going to get ahead just yet. And now we are. We're up to P13. No more pit stops for Fernando, remember. Can he get the inside of Norris? No, but the rival can. Some big positions to overtake here. Double Aston Martin livery. Pretty much. And we got it. We're into P12. Hamilton's back out P4. And we're now into the top 10. After a really bad start with Fernando. Right behind Carlos Sainz. We're just focusing on Carlos. See if we can get Alonso through. And we... Oh, thought we had him then. Surely we can get him now. And we can. We're up to P9. 
We've got Hamilton in P4. He's looking after his power unit. We'll boost him a little bit as Alonso gets into P8. And now you can see we're just right behind. And we're up through P3. Can we get anyone more? Come on. We're trying to, trying to get through. P1 is in the pits. We are going to get ahead of that P1. And we're now behind Fernando Alonso. Can we get the move to take P1? Magnussen carrying on round. And we do move up past Gasly, who's coming out of the pits. Alonso's up to P7. Hamilton's in the lead. And we're up to P6 with Fernando. This should be game, set and match for P6 if we can carry on. But what a race here in Austria. We have done some fantastic racing so far with our team score. It's 24 points for Lewis Hamilton. And it's a beautiful win. And Alonso, not too shabby from the first couple of corners sitting in P20. He comes home in P6. And it is 43 points. Check that out as the rival comes home P20 and P22. That is fantastic racing to take 43 points there. And yeah, similar similar rival matchup, around 30 difference. You can see ooh, level 4 Alonso and Hamilton. And the car, well we had that more cornering section. Virtue level 4 for the rival. So let's take a look then on this free to play account. Where we have ended up after four races so far. The max score you can get is 188. And we are on 166. That is our best four race performance so far this season. 40 points, 44, 39 and 43. That is a fantastic return from our first part. Tomorrow we'll be back for the final round. As long as we make it, which we should do. But we'll take that all day long. Final round, make sure to check it out tomorrow. 166 points so far in the bag, and I hope to see you there. Make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.